Hey, what's up, guys? This is One Shot at Zero Kills, and today I have another mod spotlight video for you guys. Uh, but first, before we get started, I just like to thank everyone for showing their support. You know, leaving comments, liking videos, uh, the whole nine yards. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys so much. And also, I have another. Well, I'm gonna be restarting my mod modding tutorials uh, tomorrow or Wednesday, in case you guys are watching this later. Uh, but by then it should be out. But yeah, I'm gonna be restarting my tutorials. I'm gonna be starting with adding a new item uh, with mod loader. It's gonna be an enchantment log, uh, which will let you store your experience into this item. I think it's gonna be a great way to teach you guys how to code advanced items and uh, create your own GUI. Uh, so look forward to that. Uh, but now back to the actual mod spotlight. I'm sure you guys remember uh, one of my previous videos on my auto join mod. Uh, you know, that mod was great and all, but it really wasn't that good. It, by default, it tried to join a server every five seconds. And you know, that's sort of taxing on the server, and it rarely works. So now I've uh, redone the mod, and now it's much better. Instead of just trying to join the server, uh, this mod will actually ping the server. And uh, if the server responds that the server isn't full, it'll then try to join it. So here, let me show you. All right, I got disconnected by the server. I'm gonna click auto join. And now it'll ping it. And look, uh, there was one slot open, so it tried to connect and it worked. Isn't that awesome? That's, I think that's much better. Uh, it's better for you, you're gonna get in faster. And uh, it's less taxing on the server. So you know, it's, uh, it's better for everyone. So now I'm gonna exit. Uh, I'm gonna do it again, so, so you can see what it looks like if it doesn't automatically just go in. I disconnect by the server, auto join, ping number one, you'll see that it's full so it didn't try to connect, ping number two, and then it's just going to keep on going and looks, we got in. Uh, now if it actually tries to connect and it doesn't work for some reason, it'll tell you what happened and then it'll go back pinging and uh, trying to join. Now I'm sure you guys uh, play or, or have heard of MindZ. Uh, it's uh, becoming pretty popular on YouTube, and you'll see that uh, the server, it always looks like that it has five slots open. So then you're gonna click on it, you're gonna try to join, and then it's gonna say that the server is full, right? Okay, now the reason that it says uh, that it's full is because those uh, five slots are actually reserved for the admins. So what does this mean? Uh, this mod will actually try to join even though it's full. Uh, and you know that's terrible right but actually you can fix this uh, in your configuration file uh, for this mod you're gonna see something called join offset uh, now what the join offset is uh, this mod only tries to connect to the server if the uh, current amount of players on the server is less is less than the maximum number of players on the server plus uh, this join offset right so now for those of you who aren't so great at math uh, you're saying what does this mean so then, if I set my join offset to negative 5, uh, this mod will work, will work fine on mine Z, right? Because uh, uh, you need to have 144 players on the server or less to actually be able to join. And 150 minus 5 is 145. So, uh, and 144 is less than 145. So then uh, it'll work just fine. And I'm going to show that to you just now. After I go and change uh, my join offset in the configuration file, I'll be back in a sec. All right, I'm back. I've changed uh, my join offset to negative five. Uh, for those of you that didn't catch why you have to change to negative five, is because there are five fake slots. So we have to counteract that. So instead of five, it becomes negative five, and that's it. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to join, and then uh, I was kicked because it's full. Uh, so now you're just going to want to stay at the screen for a couple of seconds uh, because this server, uh, they've made it so that if you try to join uh, too quickly, or it'll mess it up. Uh, so you have to actually wait a little bit. Uh, in my next version, I'm going to add two things. Uh, I'm going to add a way so that uh, this mod will recognize that, and then it'll just wait by itself. You won't have to uh, change your delay or anything. It'll just wait for it. It'll know what to do. And then I'm also going to add 
a way to do configuration by servers. Uh, so you won't have to edit that file. You can edit it in the GUI itself uh, in game, and that'll be much easier. And then it'll s actually support doing this uh, for multiple servers uh, without having to go and edit the file. So now I'm going to click auto join and wait. And there you saw it. I just got in uh, with auto join, no problem. Like I said, if you're having problems doing it though, uh, just uh, disconnect, wait a couple of seconds. Uh, then try to connect again. Uh, most likely it's going to fail. So then wait at that disconnected screen a couple of seconds and then click auto join and you, sh and you should be fine. Uh, expect an update most likely after 1.3 uh, with uh, server settings and a smarter uh, auto join mod. Uh, that's it guys. See ya.